Okay, if you've got a BMW with chrome side trim, like mine, if it doesn't look like this, yours will soon look like this because they all do eventually. It's not chrome, it's aluminium. Aluminium that's polished with, I think, maybe a lacquer on top, but it tarnishes over time like this. So if yours doesn't look like this, I don't know if I can focus on that. You get this sort of look like this, which you might think would buff or polish out. And it won't, because it's the, to do with whatever's coating the surface. So this isn't chrome, it's just polished aluminium with, I think, a lacquer of some sort on top anyway. So you've got two options, really. You can either take that surface right off and uh, sand and polish it down and then re-lacquer it again. And you could do that. I'll show you something in a second that you could use to do that. I think that's quite a lot of work and I don't even like this particular finish. So I'm gonna blacken it. And I think a lot of people uh, like to blacken the trims if they haven't got black trims to start with. So I'll show you how to do that now with Plasti Dip. So just before I go on to show you what I'm gonna do with Plasti Dip, what you could use if you are interested in uh, making it chrome and nice again, you could use something like a metal lacquer, but it's quite a lot of work because you need to sand and polish, or sand, take it right back down to the metal, polish it up, get rid of the scratches and anything that you might have in it, uh, clean it all off again and then re-lacquer it. You could do that. It's quite a bit of work. I wouldn't fancy it myself. <laughs> I'd, just buy new <laughs> I'd just buy new trims if that's what you're going to do. Go to BMW and get new ones because of the, it just feels like a lot of work. Removing all the trims is quite difficult as well. So the back ones I'll show you now come off uh, without too much effort and the other ones a bit more effort. So I wouldn't be removing those. We're going to try and paint, plasti dip those on the car and uh, that's what we're going to do. So let's do it. Okay, now when it comes to these rear trims, say rear side trims, sorry, uh, they all come off, but um, with varying difficulty. So, the easiest one to get off, and I'll show you in a second, is this one here. It just comes straight off. It is literally dead easy. I did manage to get off the silver piece of trim on the rear door. However, it's, uh, it's not the easiest. I feel like the bottom one will come off as well. But then the front ones are more tricky. So what I've decided to do is I'll remove these two awkward shaped ones because they come off in like one minute and then the other ones I'll paint or plasti dip on the car so uh, I'll just show you now how easy this rear piece is to come off and you'll get an idea and uh, it just saves an awkward uh, shape of um, taping up and masking uh, for the back here if I just paint it off the car so uh, I'll show you now right so this trim here is just pressed into place so if you open the rear door, once you start to get your thumb just behind the top part of the trim and just pull it straight out, you see it's already coming off. Don't bend it, so just be careful. And you'll see in a minute it's just got a bunch of locators that just hold it in place. There we go. And it's off. You can also see how dirty um, the locators are that get behind it. So uh, it'll need a real good cleanup. And, uh, and we can paint this with Plasti Dip off the car, clean up the, uh, the rubber seals, and it should go on real nice again. Right, after you've removed these two, because they're dead easy to get off the back, all these other ones here, uh, you need to give them a good clean down. As with any paint prep, I mean, Plasti Dip is a lot more forgiving than normal paint, but it still needs to be clean uh, to go on. And even when they look relatively clean, I've just been round the car now, and this was a clean microfiber cloth, by the way, and uh, you'd be surprised how much dirt comes off these silver trims when you've been giving them a good rub. So I've rubbed all these down and given them a bit of a, a good uh, cleaning with a traffic film remover I've been using, and then I should give them an alcohol wipe down before we apply the Plasti Dip. And at the moment, I'm just giving these a clean off. These are the dirtiest ones, by the way, because when you get to the back, uh, this here is at the bottom where all of the dirt accumulates as you're driving along and they get really grimy. So I'm just gonna finish giving that a bit of a clean off now. And then it's time for taping up and prepping.
Okay, so a few distractions later and uh, I've got some sort of attempt at masking up the top part of the trim and we're gonna lay a little bit of uh, plastic dip on the top. We've already got these two down here that have had all their layers done, they're just drying off now. So let's get these done. It's gonna be a slow process, I think, because we've still got to do the bottom ones and then the other side of the car, but you get the idea. The idea of doing it this way is that we're going to leave a wet edge and we're going to peel it off while it's still wet so that we don't have to do the tearing thing because I don't want it to leave a ragged edge like it did when we had to go with the uh, the rear diffuser. So uh, I'll lay on another couple, maybe two or three more layers and then we'll peel while it's wet. One more coat. Okay, so it's still wet at the minute. I've literally just pulled all of the uh, all of the tape off. It's got a pretty good finish. I'm actually really happy with that. Even down to here as well, which I thought might be a tricky area. So I think that's actually come out pretty damn good. Well happy with that. And I've already painted this bit so this bit can go back on once it's uh, properly dry. And it's just these bottom ones here and then the other side. So, yeah, happy days, I think that's pretty good. At this point, I realized I'd run out of masking tape and couldn't continue doing the bottom pieces. So uh, rather than make you guys wait until the next day once I've got another roll of masking tape and finish off the rest of the car, I'll leave the video there for now and uh, probably post a few other bits and bobs that I've been painting in between during the course of the day as well. Um, but yeah, I think the result was pretty good actually. And uh, I, I will do the rest of the car in, in the same way once I get another roll of masking tape. <laughs> See you guys later.